<laughs> you should start this way. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> hello, hello, everybody. everybody. <laughs> we are coming in today for what we call our survey Saturday. Survey Saturdays. Today are we are at a brewery outside of Rockland, Maine, and the brewery's name is Waterman's Beach Brewery. It's a mouthful, huh? A lot to say. So I haven't sampled any of these yet. So we'll go one by one because that's I got a flight, which I generally do when we are going to a new brewery, and I'll tell you the names. We've got our stout, and that's their double IPA. Look at the coloration on there. That's actually kind of crazy. So they're double IPA, and you want to know the name of it? It's great. <laughs> it's called, and okay, explicit language here for everybody. It's called <laughs> Fuck Around and Find Out. That is the name of the beer. Then we have a blueberry wheat and then a blonde. So. And mine is a blueberry wheat well, that I'm sure Jordan will help me finish. Yeah, I'm going to start with our double IPA because I am a big fan. At low, It's a lower ABV for a double. It's only 8%. But after we sample these, Jesse will give you a little tour. They have a nice, cool setup, actually. It's pretty neat. Actually. So we'll find out. Well, this might be more communal. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. So we took a brief time out because we had there was some a crowd that came here, which is great We're not opposed to having people around us. We were trying to do a video and it's kind of hard to do a video when you got They're loud, which is okay, too. They were very loud, but you wouldn't have heard me speaking and um, I like to speak and if you can't hear me then I speak really loud and It's fun for me. Anyways, I digress. Um, I finished the blueberry wheat You know, I'm not gonna give a good opinion on the blueberry wheat because I'm not a big wheat beer drinker. I don't, I don't like halves and to each their own. If you like a good wheat beer, it's got a nice carbonation and the blueberry is very subtle, so you still get that wheat forwardness in there. Uh, still got the blonde and the stout. For our stout, I'm pretty sure it was sitting at like a 5.2% ABV, which is pretty mellow. I'm more of a bourbon barrel aged stout kind of guy, so we'll see. I doubt we'll find that anywhere up here. That's more a Pacific Northwest type deal that I've noticed in California and places like that. But here we go. For what did they call this one? The sail maker. You definitely get coffee up front on that one. They could have backed off on the malts a little bit. It's good though. But there's definitely a coffee, uh, harder hitting coffee note than most stouts that I usually mm. have. And while we're out here sampling, normally I would kind of be really snobby about it and get some water and swish my palate down and cleanse it <laughs> and sniff everything. But we're in Maine, and last few days it was 90 degrees, and now we're it's 60 degrees and, and it's cold to Jesse and I. So we're <laughs> kind of rushing through this. <sighs> So let's get a little sample of whatever. What did I get? I got the blonde ale, right? Mm -hmm. And you can't ever go wrong with a blonde ale. It's your average, easy drinking summer beer, wouldn't you say? Yes. Like, it's generally lower ABV. There's, it's, it shouldn't be hoppy. It shouldn't be hoppy at all. But we'll find out. It's sweet. Sweet. It's really sweet. And that one's called the, the provider. provider. It's sweet. Um, it's weird. I don't know if it's because I mixed those two flavors together, <laughs> but I'm getting banana out of that, hmm. which is intriguing for a beer. I'm gonna have Jesse try that and see. See if I taste, see banana. If you taste banana. Right now, all mm -hmm. I taste is my wheat. It's really sweet. It's very sweet. That is weird. I don't know. <laughs> kind of a banana. It's really sweet. It's weird. Yeah, it's got it's like a, a subtle weird... banana. It's weird. Oh, it's, 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 a, it's an interesting blonde. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the blondes that I've had, they generally do like a raspberry blonde and they add a little fruitful flavor to it because it's a sweeter, easy, semi drinking beer. So, so far, not seven, bad. Seven out of ten for the brewery. <laughs> yeah. Like they're not. Not Jordan's favorite beers. Generally, when I get a double IPA, I like it to be more than 8%. Because when you have that many hops forward, 
you expect your beer to actually yeah, have. Yeah, you didn't really talk much about that one. No, and that was the... Uh, the naughty word one. The naughty word, yeah, that I don't want to repeat again. Because <laughs> I try to keep this as family friendly F- as possible. F, F around all. and F, F around, around and, and find, find out. out. <laughs> they have a shirt that says that. Yes. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> and hopefully here in a second, because it's got a beautiful view. We're in the back corner because the wind yeah. is blowing today and we're cold. But yeah, we should be able to get you guys uh, a, little, a, little, a, little, a little bit of a view. And we're hoping Windy this next week cold. they're going to do what's called, they're calling it reggae on the water. Ooh, yeah. So they'll have some reggae music or a reggae band that'll come in and play. We should be able to get to listen to that and really just check the scenes out. Yeah. As you guys know, if you've been following us, one of my favorite things to do, God forbid, maybe I'm a drunkard, I don't know, is go around and try local breweries. Mm-hmm. And we've done tons and tons and tons, and we've got a lot more to do. And this place is cool, so I'll show mm-hmm. you some of that here in a minute. But Yeah, this yeah. place is really cool. Okay. So here is the rest of the brewery. They have a taco truck. Tables out waterfront, which is cool. And, uh, and then I discovered Cowboy Beans way late. Mm-hmm. Like probably 15 years after it's made. But it's so good. There's that t-shirt Jordan was talking about. <laughs> and then here is inside. Hey, isn't this a cool place? We get to see the brewery all in one. And, oh, that's cool. Did you guys have that custom made here? Very cool. Very nice. So come on down to Waterman's Beach brewery and they have live music how often pretty much every week so definitely come down it's well worth it all right that's what we have for you for survey saturday and i do like this wheat but i like wheat beers yeah so. you like wheat beer i like anything with alcohol including listerine so <laughs> just kidding i'm actually a very big beer snob <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>